Hey, this is Brandon Strzok, the former liberal, former Democrat who walked away from the Democratic Party and started the walk away campaign, encouraging all other people to do exactly the same thing. And I have something that I'm really, really excited to tell you about. I'm standing here in Harlem, my neighborhood, at the Magic Johnson Theater, AMC Magic Johnson Theater on 125th Street in Harlem. And we have something really, really big that we want to announce. On Wednesday, March 27th, Walkway Campaign is going to be doing something that has never been done before. We are going to be doing a premiere screening of our documonial film, The Great Awakening, Breaking the Chains of the Democratic Party. Now, what's a documonial? You're probably asking yourself. It's a testimonial documentary. At Walkway Campaign, we're kind of known for doing our walkaway testimonials. And what we've done is compiled 20 testimonials of black Americans who are telling their stories about why they can no longer be a part of the Democratic Party, why they are walking away. And we've made it into a 35-minute documentary-style short film, which we're going to be screening right here at 8 p.m. on Wednesday, the 27th of March. We have raised the money so that people can come and see this entirely for free. And we're going to be going around today and encouraging all of my neighbors in Harlem to come and see this movie. It's going to be an amazing event. And the movie is going to be followed by a panel discussion and a Q&A with the audience. It's going to be like a town hall style discussion right there in the theater, talking with people, racial minorities, people on the left, asking them, why are we still voting Democrat? Is this really serving our communities well? We are so excited about this event. So let's, uh, let's talk to some of my neighbors here in Harlem and see how they feel about the idea. All right, so we're standing here with Navi. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you too. Navi, I want to ask you a couple of questions. They might seem a little bit personal, but we just need to know. We have, cool. Do you typically vote? Yes, I do. Do you vote in every election? Um, no, I don't. Do you belong to a particular political party? I'm actually liberal. Are so you? Yes. Okay. So, I mean, I can go either way. You know, it depends. Well, do you feel like you typically vote Democrat? Um, I mean, ideally, yes, I do. Ideally? Ideally, yeah. I okay, so I used to vote Democrat, too, my entire life. I'm a gay man, and I feel like that was a big influence on why I was voting Democrat. I walked away from the Democratic Party after the 2016 election because I felt like I learned a lot of things that showed me that the party isn't quite what I thought it was, that the liberal media isn't quite what I thought it was, and I started something called the walkway campaign. I'm encouraging all different, all different types of people yes. to rethink our typical voting behaviors. Now I want to tell you a few things. Black Americans are voting Democrat at a rate of 90%. Does that surprise you or not? I mean, obviously, it's like you would think that it's like a, a demographic thing or like a more like, you know, like something that has to do with like the nationality and the culture of like, you know, black, you know, America. But I mean, it doesn't surprise me at all, actually. So I want to just give you a few statistics and see what you think. 38% of black children are living in poverty. Do something about this, you know, and it's, it starts with the community, you know, the locale, and then it can reach the farther branches, you know. Black people are voting Democrat at a rate of 90%. Do you think it's possibly time that we rethink this? Yes, it's actually kind of contradictive, you know. Yeah. It's really contradictive. You know? So I want to show you something. In the Walkway campaign, we created a movie. It's called The Great Awakening, Breaking the Chains of the Democratic Party. It's the story of 20 black Americans who have walked away from the Democratic Party. And we are actually doing a screening of this movie at the Magic Johnson Harlem for free on Wednesday the 27th. I would love it if you would come. I'll definitely be there. I'm not kidding. No, I'll bring my sister. We'll come. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Bring everybody. Bring everyone. Yeah, it's so hard, you know, with the, with the, with the, uh, the working schedules in New York City. Of course, we know that. You this is free. Work. Yeah, but, you know, but we have to, like... Uh, articulate our schedules in order to be able to support different calls. What do you do for work? I'm actually an entertainer, so. It, it's at 8 p.m. Are you entertaining oh, on the 27th? You'd be surprised. I might be on the corner. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, but yeah, I'll be free. I'll be free. Uh, all right. I'll be free. If you go to walkwaycampaign.com, okay. you can sign up. It's a free just sign up, but it's absolutely free to come. Please, this is it's a very impactful movie. I want you to see it. Yeah, Listen. My word, I'll be here. And after the movie, it's only 35 minutes. Okay. There's a panel discussion where all of these people, these are people who are obviously people of color. This is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s god niece. Wow. Uh, yeah. And we just want to have a discussion with people in Harlem who are typically voting Democrat and say, listen, is this really working for us anymore? Get here, 8 p.m. Wednesday at the Magic Johnson Theater. It's free, dude. I mean, like, you can't beat a free movie, and it's also worth it. It's a probable cause, you know? It's worth something. Take action. I love you. Love you back. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me. See you there. The wind started blowing and it got really cold, so I got a new hat. Do you guys like my hat? <laughs> Thank you. Black people are voting Democrat at 90% rate, and yet 38% of black children are living in poverty. 73% uh, of uh, black mothers are single mothers. These are all because of Democratic Party policies. We just, I just want to ask you how you feel about that. It's not an argument. I just want to. 
Well, I feel some kind of way about it. <laughs> you want to talk? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. O'Shea. O'Shea. And Rakim. Rakim. So I, uh, I was letting them know a little bit about what we're doing with Walkway, our film, The Great Awakening, Breaking the Chains of the Democratic Party. And O'Shea said that she had some feelings about it, and I'd love to hear what you think. As far as poverty and stuff like that, I also live in a low-income black community, which is NYCHA, New York City Housing Authority, and it's not clean at all. Like, it's terrible. It's terrible. Like, it's roaches everywhere, rats. They don't want to come and fix the doors. And it's like they don't do nothing until like somebody gets hurt, and I feel like that's that's foul. Did you know that in New York City, what I'm about to, this is a true thing that I'm about to tell you, in New York City, more black babies are aborted than born alive, mm -hmm. and the Democrats are pushing for more lenient abortion policies. They Meaning actually until the baby gets full term to that's, this, yeah. I, that's I, right. Yeah, I'm definitely against that. I feel like that's not. That's not that's just that's not right at all, especially because they're already full term. So I, I was already against the abortion segment anyway, because it's wrong. Would you be interested in seeing our movie on March 27th? It's, it's completely for free. We're going to have a panel after the movie discuss. That's um, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s God niece. Uh, this is a good friend of mine, David Harris Jr. These are these are people who have either walked away from the Democratic Party or they've always been conservative. What we really want to do is just have a discussion because 90% of uh, black people are voting Democrat and it's really wreaked havoc, I think, on black neighborhoods and black lives. And I just think that we can do better. Yeah, yeah I'll be interested. Yeah, I'm interested. Thank, Thank you. you. Do you want to take one? Sure, I'll take one. Do you have any comments? Um, no, not really. And that's okay. I mean, but I just, I would love it if, even if you don't have any comments, I'd love it if you just came. I mean, and I just know that like, I just know like, I feel, when you're under the poverty line, you feel like Democrat is for you and it's really not. Yeah. And then when you're above the poverty line, people want to be Republican. And, you know, it's just like a, a off and on switch with everything. I think that's a great point. Everything is just an illusion out here to um, distract, distract everything. Because why would you give billions of aid, billions of dollars of aid to other countries when you have millions of homeless people in your own country? Like, exactly. fix home first before you go outside and check on your neighbor. That's a conservative policy. When when you're when you have money, you want to become a replicant because you feel like other people should be working just as hard as you to get where you at. But when you're a Democrat, you feel like, well, everything should just be given to me. And that's not true. You should be working for stuff, you know. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I actually love this guy. Uh, do you think Donald Trump is a racist? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. It's no if ands or buts about it. It's not that just he's just a racist. It's about that he did one thing that no president ever did in his life. Well, other than Nixon, it's like he fueled the hatred throughout the country. I um I also used to think that I voted for Hillary Clinton because I thought that Donald Trump was a racist and I thought he was a homophobic. I'm gay and I thought he was homophobic and I was really scared when he got elected president because I believe the media that kept pushing that narrative and I've completely changed my mind now. I don't think he's a racist. I don't think he's a homophobe. What I would love is if you guys came and we had, we just all had a discussion. Yeah. Would you be open for that? Yeah, I would, yeah. Yeah, we could do this. Yeah. Might give me a movie scene. <laughs> really great to meet you. Thanks for stopping and talking yeah, with us. Okay. All you have to do is go to walkawaycampaign.com uh, and you can click on events and you can just get your free ticket and please, please show up. I think you're great. Okay, thank you. It's a free movie. Please come. Uh, good. How's yours? Very well, thank you. Very well. <laughs> Please tell me you were already recording. She's Hi. wonderful. <laughs> I'm recording. I can't smoke. Your name is Gabora. 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 Yeah. Uh, you yeah. can smoke if you want to. It's a free okay. country, you know. Yes, it is. What's this? So I want to ask you a few questions, Gabora. Mm -hmm. So black Americans are voting Democrat at a rate of 90%. Yes. And despite that, 38% of black children are living in poverty. Yes. 73% of black mothers are single mothers. Yes. 40% of government assistant cases are black Americans. Yes. Do you think that the Democratic Party is serving black Americans well? No, I don't. No, I don't. You agree? And you have to remember that it was the Republican Party that started. In the beginning, black people was for the Republicans. And, and, and what year? I don't remember when it got turned around. but. Right, yes. Under Johnson. Under Johnson. When he signed right. the welfare bill. Yeah. I know my history. Thank you. I don't What is your name? Alberta Frederick. Black people voted Republican. In fact, 
I want to say McKinney. Yes. In fact, they was the ones who, when Lincoln was in office, black people was all in that office until Woodrow Wilson, Wilson. the Democrat, took him out. The racist that he was, okay, he took him out, left one, and he had to share the party that he was in, share whatever office that he is in with a Democrat white person, okay? That was Woodrow Wilson who did that. And then the ones that was Democrats and they were black, they were the slave owners because almost 4,000 blacks were slave owners. And they treated the blacks worse. They pleaded, treated their slaves worse than the white man. And at the same time, not only was the white man 10% of the white population that was slave owners, the one that was pushing up um, right behind them with the most slaves was the Cherokee Indians. Okay, that's my family. And then the third, and the third ones was the black Americans that was here. This the... That, that was the free men, the free slaves, and the free men, the, ex, the former slaves, and the uh, free men. They were the one who ran the Republican Party, okay, until Woodrow Wilson. And at the same time, like I said, the vast majority of your black uh, slave owners was the Democrats. Up, That's right. Yeah, were the Democrats. A lot of people don't realize that the, the KKK was an arm of the exactly. Democratic they was an arm. And yeah. then at the same time, they became even more popular under LBJ. Right. And then at the same time, because he was a, a Ku Klux Klan. And, and I remember, because I was 13 years old when I went to that Civil Rights March, okay, with Martin Luther King, who was a Republican. That's right. Who was a Republican? Right. All right. The thing is, is that um, most of your entertainers, black entertainers, and stuff like that, they all voted Republican. And the reason why a lot of the Democrats get into office because when blacks was able to vote, okay, when they were able to vote, and they knew the the Democrats knew that the Repu the the black people held Republican tickets, they took their tickets out of their hands and put two. Democrats in the box, okay? That's how they got back into the office, the Democrats, okay? That's how they rule the reign, because they took they stuffed up the ballot box. Could I ask you a couple questions? Because this, so, uh, if I may, um, I voted Democrat my whole life because I believed that they cared about gay people. I, I believe that they cared about black people, about brown people. I don't believe that anymore. I walked away from the Democratic Party. I created something called the Walk Away Campaign. Okay. You started it? I started it. <laughs> you have you heard of it? Yes. yes. I I heard. So we made a movie called The Great Awakening: Breaking the Chains of the Democratic Party. It's made with the testimonials of 20 Black Americans who have walked away. It's amazing. We're showing it for free on Wednesday, March 27th at the Magic Johnson Theater right over here. Okay. And afterwards, we're going to have a panel discussion with what my friend David Harris Jr. just going to have a town hall style discussion. Why are 90% of black people still voting Democrat when the Democrats don't care? Because the Democrats made it seem like under uh, LBJ that they was becoming like uh, the Republican. Never mind, the Republican never gave you welfare. Right. He ne they never gave you welfare. And the black people said, oh, well, we needed welfare. No, you never did. We, we was doing fine without it. That's right. I think so, too. I'm right. fine without it. You remember that phrase, teach a man to fish? Uh, yeah. Right, you teach him how to fish. You don't give him a fish. Right. Fish, okay? Because right. even Jesus said when they was up after he fed the 5,000, and then they come to the far and they want to hear. He said, no, you came to me not because you wanted to hear what I have to say and this thing, because I fed you. Right. So they want to get fed again right. for free. Don't you think it's time for a change? I do. I really think it's time for a change. Yeah. And this yeah. this guy Cuomo, I remember his father. His father was nothing. Right. His, really? Yes. I do agree. His father was nothing. And he's worse than his father. It, Talking about he doesn't want a conservative in this not welcome here. Well, look, I'm not Borg. You ever watch Star Trek? I don't. I don't. Oh, well, yeah. I saw Star Trek. Right. I am not a Borg. Right. Okay. okay? Now, a you go Borg. look at Troy... Star Trek and find out what a Borg is. Yes. No, they come I am not a Borg. I'm allowed to have my own mind. I'm allowed to be an individual. God made me an individual. He didn't make me a conglomerate. Okay? If I don't like your thinking, some people say, oh, all of us black people got to stick together. No, I said, no, I I'm not going to stick that. together with you because one, just like all black people don't look alike, I don't have to do what you're doing. I don't see a D stamped on your forehead. No, no, no. I teach, I teach my child the color is not a hindrance. You don't go out there and read a book and study like you're supposed to, okay? Nobody owes you anything. Can I give both of you ladies a hug? Please yeah. do. I'll see you on Wednesday, I right?
It's Wednesday, March 27th, so it's a week from this coming. Uh, yes. So you can go to walkwaycampaign.com and get your free will. ticket. Free I ticket. Please come and bring friends. Bring everyone you know. I'm encouraging people to take a look at how they're voting and why. Just to think about it. And we're doing a free movie event. Um, and we would like people to come and just have a discussion. No one has to uh, think anything they don't want to think. or But it's just, it's a conversation. And... Um, so our movie is called The Great Awakening, Breaking the Chains of the Democratic Party. It's 20 black Americans who have walked away from the Democratic Party telling their reasons why. And then afterwards, we're going to have a discussion in the theater, like a town hall style discussion. They just want to address the black community because the black community is voting Democrat at a rate of 90 percent. And um, I just don't believe that that's serving this community well. Do you have any opinion about that? I'll be honest, I don't vote Democratic. Um, so do you vote? Yes and no. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those that if I look at your outside appearance more than what you display on camera because it's very easy to display a different perception of what people actually know who you really are. So I like to look deeper into the person's life and who they really are. And a lot of what they do behind the cameras is very reflective of who they are in person. So. Um, so you do your homework, you do your own research. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't just listen to what CNN tells you to do or what MSNBC tells you to do. No, because it's very easy to display one story and say one thing and to be completely different behind the cameras because it's what you don't see that actually distinguishes a person. Okay, along those same lines, can I ask you a really honest question? If you saw somebody wearing a Make America Great Again hat, would you automatically assume they were a racist? No, I would not but I would cringe, unfortunately. Would you? Do you not like Donald Trump? I do not like... I don't like the way he portrays himself at all. He, he doesn't seem to respect the females at all. Um, and I don't think he respects different cultures, though, even though he displays it in front of the world. Like I said, you can s display a lot in front of the camera, but it's what happens behind the scenes that really distinguishes who you are as an individual. How about this question? Can you respect that there are people who support Donald Trump who would not support him if they thought what you were saying was true? In other words, they don't agree that he's that type of person and that's why they're able to support him. Can you respect that? I can respect that because I believe that everyone has their own opinion and they are going to believe what they believe. Um, we can still try to enlighten people um, but if that's the way they believe, I'm going to respect them. I'm not going to dislike them or disrespect them in any manner because we all have our choice. I'm one of those people. <laughs> I actually, well, just, just so I'm gay. I voted for Hillary Clinton because I believed I was one of those people, not like you. I, f I actually believed everything the media said. CNN said he's a, a, a racist, a bigot, a homophobe. And I was like, nope. Yeah. So I went in and I voted for Hillary Clinton. A lot of things happened. It's a long story, but I've since changed my mind. I don't believe Trump is a racist or a homophobe or a bigot. I don't believe his supporters are either. They've actually been really supportive of me in, in this campaign. And I wouldn't support Trump if I thought he was a racist. I would not. I would not support anybody that I thought was a bigot, a racist, or a homophobe. And so I can respect that you feel that way. But if I decided to wear my Make America Great Again hat, I would feel really bad if you thought that I was a bad person because of that. No. Mm -mm. I think there are some people who display their Make a Great America Great Again, um, and they do some very inhumane things that make it look bad. That's probably very true. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I don't think that's reflective of the majority. No. Because that's the problem, is that when we see one thing happen, um, that displays that it's not humane, it's not respectful, then we tend to group everyone in that same category right. um, when we have to look deeper than the surface. And that's true because you know what, that can go both ways. What if now we didn't believe anyone who reported a hate crime because of Jesse Smollett? What if we just every time said, well? Yeah, and that can happen. It's completely for free. Um, and again, it's just a discussion. No, you know, no one has to change their mind. It's not, you know, we're not having like a brainwashing session. Um, if you'd like, you can go to walkwaycampaign.com and get your free ticket and literally bring as many people as you want. You can bring 100 friends for free. I mean, that seats 275. Don't bring 276 people. <laughs> but <laughs> can I give you a hug? Absolutely. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What was your name again? Naomi. Naomi Brandon. Thanks nice for the great you. interview. Thank you.